Tom seems to have a lot of confidence in you uh, heading into the season. Just the, the expectations that you, you placed upon yourself. Absolutely. Um, I have high expectations for myself and for this team. Um, you know, I want to I want to have the best year yet as my as a senior, and um, I want this team to go places we haven't been in a long time. So. Now, with your entering your second year and, and you know being a senior, that sense of ownership. Uh, kind of come into play how how big of a feeling is that for you especially for you not being here you know from the beginning transferring in I mean, do you feel kind of what's that sense of ownership that, that hometown kind of thing absolutely absolutely uh, absolutely um I feel you feel some type of leadership you know as a senior being through college basketball no matter where you work you know um there comes some some type of leadership in that role because you know you've been through some stuff that some of the freshmen and other guys haven't seen yet so what, what kind of value i mean to, I guess, I'm trying to think of a word to, uh, to relate to those guys. I mean, how much of a value is like your experience when you're trying to relate back to them? If they come to you and say, "Hey, man, I'm I'm doing this. I'm not feeling up to it." How do you chime in? Yeah, I mean, just giving my experiences. You know, the things I've seen, the things I've been through. I've probably been in a lot of the same situations as them. And when they come to me with a problem, I just try and think back to what I did right and what I've done wrong. So. That's the, some of the things I've done to help these guys. One of those experiences was the Duke game. Yeah. What did that do to you? What have, what have you taken out of that? that um, I'd say motivation more than anything. You know, we were uh, that hurt to lose by 20 in that game, but um, you know, we thought about it all summer, and we're going back for more, more than just a Final Four this time. How hard Coach pointed you out? You said you got rid of the the, the noodles that were coming. <laughs> How hard did you work? This summer, man, it was four or five days a week in the weight room, plus basketball workouts every day. You know, it was I had a full full load in the summer, so um, I mean, I think it's gonna pay off. And this team is way deeper. So yeah. What does that do in practice? What are, what is the, what are the battles like that you guys are going through? These are some of the most competitive practices I've ever been a part of. You know, the guys like the new guys like for, uh, Matt McQuaid, um, Didi. Aaron Harris, Kyle Aarons, you know, we've got we've got so many pieces now that it's like every day is going to be a battle. Brent, do you remember the, the 2005? I mean, you're from Lansing. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the 2005 team? I think so. Was, Tom, Tom's, was that with Shannon Brown and... Yeah, and, yeah, and like yeah, Mo, yeah, yeah. Mo Eager yeah. and Drew yeah. Nitzel and uh, Paul Davis. But Tom's kind of described the or compared the depth of that 05 team to this year's team. Yeah, I mean, we've got we've got a lot of players that can that can... Play, you know, there's not many guys that I'd look at that, that I'd say aren't ready. You know, even even the new guys, even Matt McQuay, D.D., Kyle, um, I think they're ready to go now. So I'm impressed with everybody. Is it kind of wanted, like nervous or anxious to be compared? I mean, the Dell Five team is one of the great teams here. I mean, does that kind of is that up up the level for you a little bit? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but uh, I think we got high expectations for ourselves either way. You know, I think I think we we want more than we got last year. I think that motivated us a little bit more to, to reach a little bit higher this year. So, so with with you and Denzel being the you know the two of the leaders of this team, what, what was the off season like with you guys? Did you guys kind of have like a meeting of a mind saying this is the way we want things to go this season? Especially you know losing Travis and Brandon. Did you guys kind of get together? And talk yeah, about things? I mean as a team, we we got together and talked about it, especially about the experience in the final four. You know, even even with coach, he he talks about it some. Um, so the, the new guys don't have to go through that this time, you know. And, and this is our last shot. So with some of us, me, Matt, and Zell, so we want to go out with a bang this year. You haven't been here four years, but coach said that he feels better than he has in ten years. Do you know why that is? And do you do you sense that out of him? You know, you only been here two, but yeah. Um, I think it's just, I think it's probably because we work. I mean, we're. This team's work ethic is crazy. You know, anytime I'm in the gym, no matter what time of the day, I'm gonna see two, three other people here with me. So, um, you know, and especially with our new strength coach too, the things he's done with us. Um, this summer has been a has been a difficult one, but I think it's really gonna help during the season. Who's made the biggest jumps this summer? Besides, I mean, Tom, you know, has said multiple times you were the MVP over the summer. Uh, who are some of the guys who made the biggest jumps? I mean, I saw I saw a lot of things from everybody. You know, Zell Zell changed his body a lot, slimmed down. Um, he looks good. You know, he's he's always been a well-rounded player, but he's he's getting better at everything. I think the thing he's doing. Gavin, I've seen a lot from Gavin over over the summer. Um, finishing a lot better, moves a lot better moves now. 
you know, every, even Didi, his body's changing, you know, getting bigger, stronger, more prepared for the season. Last year, Tom said that Gavin had to fall in love with the game, and I had talked to him about it. He said that, you know, he, he's found it. Uh, what, what kind of change did you see in Gavin? Seeing him in the gym every day. You know, he went from last year being a not very good free throw shooter to I'm surprised what he missed now, misses free throws. Um, you know, around the hoop, he can finish either hand, you know, great moves. He spent a lot of time in gym. A lot of times when I was in here, I saw him, which I didn't see the, the summer before as much. So that was impressive. All right, my final question for you, Bryn. What, what are the changes, maybe, if any, from preseason last year with, with Tom and going back to Ryan, how he mentioned that Tom says, you know, he's comfortable. How much of a difference have you have you seen in him within the past 12 months? Um, if any. Yeah, um, he's 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 still very intense. You know, it's just as intense as last year. But I think he's a little more calm. I've seen a little more. You know, he's chilled out a little bit. Is that but, a scary um, thing to see. Oh no! I mean, he's still intense. It's still it's. He hasn't taken any intensity off. But yeah, I can see a little bit. I can sense a little bit of him calm, calming down.